Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss Selenium Grid Distributed Mode and how we can set up the grid in distributed mode. In my last videos, we have already discussed the other modes to set up Selenium Grid. So in total, we have three modes of Selenium Grid. First one is standalone mode. Second one is hub and node. And the third one is distributed mode. I have already created a video on to set up the grid in standalone mode. And another one to set up the grid in hub and node. Today, I'm going to discuss the third mode, which is distributed mode. In standalone mode, it combines all the components of the grid into one. In a standalone mode, we only need a single machine to set up the grid. It does not require any other machine. To get the details, you can watch my video on standalone mode. The link is available in the description and in the iCard button. In hub and node, one machine act as a hub and another one act as a node. In this mode, we can combine different machines together to create hub and nodes to set up a single grid. Again, to get the more details, you can watch my video on hub and node setup. The link is available in the description. Now let's start with the third mode, which is distributed mode, and how we can set up grid in this mode. In distributed mode, we start each component of the grid separately on different machines. You can see we have these different components of Selenium grid, which I have already discussed in another video in details. So in distributed mode, we need to start or set up all these components separately. Means we'll start one machine as router, another one as session queue, then I'll start distributor on third machine. Another one will have a session map and the event bus will be running on a different machine. And at last, we'll start the nodes on other machines. Now the question is, which mode is ideal for you to set up the Selenium grid? So in case you have only five or less nodes, then you can use standalone mode to set up the Selenium grid. And if you have nodes, ranges between 6 to 100, then you can use hub and node approach to set up your Selenium grid. This distributed mode should be used when you have to support more than 100 nodes, which is basically very rare that we need this many nodes. But if there is a requirement for such number, then you should use distributed mode to set up your Selenium grid. Because Setting up the grid in distributed mode is the most complex one among all three modes. So now let's start with setting up the Selenium grid. First of all, we need to set up the event bus. This bus is used as a communication medium between nodes, distributor, new session queue, and session map. Grid uses the event bus for its internal communication. When we set up the grid in distributed mode, then the event bus is the first component that should be started so that the grid can communicate with all the components using this event bus. Now to start the event bus, let me move to the VM where I have Selenium server jar file placed. And then here, let me open a command prompt. After that, let me type the command java hyphen jar selenium server jar file. Earlier, we have seen that to set up a node or hub, we need to provide the node or hub in the command. But now I'll type the event bus in the command because we want to start the event bus component here. After that, event bus further has two components. One is for the publish event and another one for the subscribe events. 
both the event type should run on different ports. So let me add the command to run them on different ports. Hyphen hyphen publish hyphen event TCP and then provide the IP address of the machine. Followed by the port number. Let's say the publish event will run on port triple four two. And then the subscribed event will run on another port. Here I have given another port number for subscribing events. And then we have to provide the port where the event bus will run by typing the command hyphen hyphen port followed by the port number. So the event bus will start on this port and then hit enter. You can see that the Selenium event bus started on this machine. Now the next component which I'm going to start is session queue. Session queue is a data storage which stores the session request. And the data are stored in the form of first in first out order. Once the requests are placed in the new session queue, then it is the responsibility of the distributor to check the session queue to see if there are any pending requests for a new session. Now let's again move to the VM to start the session queue. For the demo purpose, I'm using the same machine to start all my components. But the recommendation is to start each component on separate machines to get the most benefit of this distributed mode. Now let me again open a command prompt here. And this time I'm going to type the command as Java hyphen jar selenium server jar file session queue followed by port number for session queue i'm going to use port number as triple five nine and then hit enter it is important to note down and provide all the port number correctly in order to set up the grid because when we'll start another components which are dependent on another components or communicates with another components, then we have to provide the IP address and the correct port number of these components in the command. You can see that now we have a Selenium session queue that is started and running on this machine. Now the another component which I'm going to start is session map session map is another data storage which stores the information of a session id based on the session id we can retrieve the node id where that particular session is running it stores the mapping of the session and node id so let me go back to the vm to start the session map I'll open the command prompt here. And I'm going to type the command as Java hyphen jar Selenium server jar file sessions. Now, because the session map communicates with the event bus, so we need to provide the URL or IP address of the publish events and subscriber events. First, I'm going to provide the publish events URL. You can notice this is the same URL and port number which we used while starting the event bus on this machine. Now I'll provide the subscriber event URL. And then at last, we need to provide the port number 
where the session map will run and then hit enter you can see that now we have a selenium session map that is started and running on this machine so this component is also up now the next component which i'm going to start is distributor distributor communicates with session queue event bus and session map the responsibility of the distributor is to regularly check for a free node and once available then it picks the first matching request from the session queue and then the distributor creates a new session but if there is no node available or all nodes are occupied then the distributor will send the request back to the queue if the request times out after retrying then the request will be rejected so this is how distributor works now let's move to the vm to start the distributor component let me open a command prompt here and i'm going to type the command as java hyphen jar selenium server jar file distributor as you know that distributor communicates with the event bus so we need to provide the url for publish and subscriber events in the command and because it also communicates with the session map so we need to provide the session map url also in the command then we need to provide the session queue url in the command because the distributor communicates with the session queue to see if there is any request pending for a new session and at last provide the port number where we want to run the distributor and hit enter you can see that now we have a selenium distributor that is started and running on this machine now the next component which we need to start is router the router is the entry point of the grid when we execute our web driver script then the web driver client creates a connection with the selenium grid all the requests which are coming from the web driver client falls to this router then the responsibility of this router is to receive all external requests and route them to the correct component now let me move to the vm again to start the router i'll open a command prompt here and then i'm going to type the command java hyphen jar selenium server jar file router because router communicates with session map so we need to provide the session map url in the command router also communicates with the distributor so we need to provide the distributor url in the command then the another component to which the router communicates is a session queue so i'm going to provide the session queue url in the command and then at last provide the port number where we want to run the router and then hit enter you can see that now we have a selenium router that is also started and running on this machine now the moment we start the router then we can go to the browser and search for localhost 4444 where the router is running then you can see the selenium grid console on the browser currently there is no node attached with the grid so the next component which we need to start is node here if i combine all these components 
then you can say this is the hub of the grid in earlier mode we have started all these components with a single command but here in this distributed mode we have configured these components separately now let me move to the vm last time to start the node on the machine i'll open a command prompt here and then i'm going to type the command as java hyphen jar selenium server jar file node and then the url of publish and subscriber event bus because nodes register themselves to the grid through these event bus and then hit enter at the last now we'll have a node started on this machine and this will connect to the event bus to register itself with the grid here if i open the grid console in the browser then in a while we'll see a node registered and displayed over here you can see now the node has been registered with the selenium grid you can add as many nodes to the grid based on your requirement so this is how we can set up the selenium grid in distributed mode that's it for today thank you for watching i hope you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thank you